Two days from now, 95-year-old Bob Heine will earn a college degree. I first told you about his story six months ago, and every day I've seen him ever since, he always says, I don't know whether to kiss you or kick you in the Heine. He uses a different word, though. I always smile and say, how about you just let me tell your story? Here it is. On the beautiful campus of the University of St. Francis, a lone regret is about to be resolved. Throughout his life, Bob Heine has stepped foot on the soil of four different schools, each time with the intent to earn a degree, and each time life intervened. But now, now his extraordinary tale is about to be recognized. Brett, I don't think you'll ever feel get the feeling that I have, that, that I'm going to have at the, on that stage. So, uh, it's, I hope I don't cry. I don't. This all started with a few words exchanged at the gym when Bob told me what he's told me every time we've talked ever since. As I said before many times, I'm the luckiest man alive, and I know that. He grew up the son of a grocer was a central catholic basketball star fought for our country in world war two and then came home he married marge the girl that he'd known since childhood and they had three girls of their own along the way marge became a teacher and earned two degrees from saint francis u for bob there was just never time he had to support a family he was a salesman a businessman and he gave back to serving those less fortunate in the soup kitchen line but now at 95, and with a few moments to reflect, a regret has filtered through. If you could do one thing over, do one thing differently, what would you do? Probably stay in college and get a degree. I've been to four colleges and I don't have a degree yet. You suppose I could still get one? I'll bet you could. Sometimes all it takes for a wish to come true is to say it out loud, and on that day, I called USF, I told them about Bob, and then, well, the rest was something none of us will ever forget. I know that you're watching tonight, and I have a surprise for you. I, I just got this today. It says, Dear Mr. Heine, we learned of your personal history from Wayne TV's Brett Thomas. Your passion for serving others and your strong Catholic faith is an inspiration for all. I am pleased to share that because of your exemplary example of paying it forward, the University of St. Francis will award you an honorary degree at our May 2018 commencement ceremony. <laughs> Blessings and grace, Sister Elise Chris, President, University of St. Francis. Oh. Bob, you got your degree. Oh. I guess fifth time is the charm. Oh, you're on my list, you, Brett. Oh. That was November, but months later, the old vet still beams. So what are you going to do with this degree? What's next? Well, I'm going to walk up and down Calhoun Street and show it off. <laughs> <laughs> A degree from the same school March attended, but sadly won't be able to see. But you think she's looking down at you? Think she's proud? Oh, I bet she is. Don't make me say I'm going to cry, Brett. It's okay, I don't want to upset you over it, but I know she's got to be proud of you right now. Yes, yes. I know what I said, the luckiest man in the world. And I mean it, I mean it. They say good things come to those who wait, but in truth, it's not about how long you wait. It's about the life you lead along the way. Good things come, you see, to good people. I'm amazed of all this. I call it monkey business, but it's not monkey business, I know. But boy, getting a degree from this place, that's something, that's something. Graduation is this Saturday at the Coliseum at 2 o'clock. Very well deserved. <laughs>